Good afternoon. Good afternoon, ma'am. What is your full name? My full name is Gurpreet Singh. Where are you originally from? I am from Mogga city. Okay, let's talk about running. Do you regularly run? Yes, I am running regularly in the morning. I I am going to walk. I go for walk. I go for run. I go for a jogging. Okay. Did you run a lot when you were a child? In the when I am a, when I am a younger, mm -hmm. I I love to play games which is of some time of uh, some time of the some time of running and some when I am a in the I was I was when I was in tenth standard I am joining the athletics. I joined. I joined. You are talking about past. Okay. I joined the athletics. Oh, yeah, you joined it. Okay. Is the area where you live suitable for running? Yes, in my when yes, I am living this area which has a ground and a, and a park for for walking. Okay. Do you prefer to exercise indoors or outdoors? I prefer to exercise outdoor because because outdoor we have a lot of type of activities doing in the outdoor. Because we can do many activities. You have to work on your sentence formation. Okay? Yes, ma'am. How do you maintain your physical health? I maintain my physical health with a good diet and take and and doing exercises in the morning or evening. Okay. Let's talk about colors. Which is your favorite color and why? My favorite color is a black because it is a very it is a very good color. It it is it's uh, suitable for every color and ma match in every outfit. Okay, it is suitable for every occasion, or you can say it is suitable for everyone. Yeah, okay, okay black suits everyone. You can say that. Okay, is there any color you dislike and why? I <coughs> basically I don't dislike any color, but neon color is my. But neon color, I I but neon color, I don't like them because it is a very, it is a very bright color. It it is a very bright color. It affect my, it affect my eyes, and it seems not good for me. All right, this is the end of part one. Now in part two, I will give you a two minute topic. You yes, will sir. have one minute to prepare, and you have to speak for one to two minutes. Okay. Clear? Yes, ma'am. Here is your cue card and this is your paper and pencil. I am ready. Start. Well, I would like to describe my friend who, left, who helps the people in, the, in my neighborhood. He also lives in my neighborhood and his name is Amandeep Singh. He also love to help. Uh, he also love to help uh, other people. In my area, some people are some old people are lives alone. He helps to their there in such kind of activities they are not doing by themselves. Mm -hmm. He also helps like uh, he also buy buy their groceries and sometimes he sometimes he he helps there in medical medical facilities. In some, in sometimes they help their, they help those people who who are who actually need a third person to their work, and sometimes they helps, and sometimes they help those people who actually who actually need for for the work. When they help somebody, he feels very happily because they they says when I am a I am doing a good work good good work in today. Do I'm work, good working today? I good work today. I. Uh, you are using they for a person. Yes, ma'am. But in English, we use he, she only. We okay. don't use they. You're giving them respect. Okay. But in English, we say he, she, not they. They will be plural. There are many people, but you are talking about one person. Okay. You said his name is the Amandeep. That's wrong. His Aman. His name is Amandeep Singh. The peoples. It should be the people. People, not peoples. Okay? Okay. And they help there in medical. Them in. He helps others in medical facility, medical problems, other facilities. Try to speak more. Can you add a few more sentences? Okay, ma'am. I'll try it. Yes. Okay. When 
he when he when he helps somebody actually need their help he feel happily he feel happy because uh, because they say they say when i am go, i'm doing a good work in today to help other people to help the other people he actually very kind to others and all and our and my all neighbors are very, very kindful to he, to him to him and my all neighbor are very respect respected to to respectful his, respectful, respectful to his work and he and he is a very then respect his work then respect his work and then he is a very and then he is a very good a good person i met in my life i have met in my life okay i have met in my life okay would you like to become like him in future yes i would like yes i would like to become him because he is a very helpful person he helps uh, everyone in at the, a, any activities and i love to help other persons okay can i have paper pencil back yes sir let's discuss this topic in part 3 okay, okay. do you like to help others and why yes i like to help other people because when sometime people are actually need for help i would i would very i feel very happily to help in their work happy happy when people need not when people's people. okay okay when people how can children help their parents children help their parents in many type of activities like home chores and different types of different types of helping their parents like in their in their in their in their homeworks by doing you already said household chores yes ma'am so you can talk about that only in detail okay, okay if you don't have any other answer don't be nervous okay do all children like helping their parents well i think all not all children are helping their parents because some children are very are very rude to rude to their parents they all they always they always live in their own ta- own own time and they every they spend every time on their mobile phones and watching tvs etc okay and what is the reason behind that why they don't help because in this generation pe- parents have no time for their children and the children are people parents have no time for their children and the children are very rude for their parents so you can simply say like they don't know how to help because they don't spend time together so they don't know the value kind okay. of you can add on these thing okay do children need to help their classmates yes children are help, also help in their classmates because because any no, my question is do children need to help their classmates yes whether they should help or not yes children say also help their classmate in many type of activities such as the homework and other type of activities like physical and in the game in in this type of activity in this type of help children they they get a better relation between each others okay with each other uh, do children need to help their classmate of course they should in this way they will learn how to help others if they don't help their classmates they don't take help from their classmates of course uh, it will not help them later in life because in society we have to live with each other okay fine yes try to explain in detail okay Indeed. should children do volunteer work yes i think children should do volunteer volunteer work, work because it is a helpful in their future in the volunteer work they are doing children's have very type of activities are learning in their voluntary work and they are and they they help in their future and such type of communication skills enhance and other type of social social communication yes it helps them later in their life when yes. they are indulged in any kind of work. volunteer work while studying okay yes, avoid saying people's children's okay okay ma'am 
If you are saying children's activities, then it's fine. But if you are talking about all the children, then children. It should not be children's. Child, children. Okay. You have to work on your English. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. For this kind of speaking, you can score up to five band in real exam. Okay. But if you want to score six or more, you have to work hard. Clear? Okay. Okay. Thank you, ma'am.